everybody welcome back to cast iron skillet kitchen today I'm going to show off my new mortar pestle it is unpolished granite it is wonderful and I'm going to show you every step it's going to take to get this baby ready to uh, to be used for cooking I uh, would like to thank priority chef for providing me with this and I'm doing an honest unbiased review of it so you're gonna come along on this journey with me the first time I use it so you can get my live reactions so let me show it off to you first it's a hefty boy he's got a two cup capacity and look at that beautiful grip. hand carved hand carved it is and the bottom of it doesn't come with anything to protect other than these which is wonderful because I got three of these in my kit and you can peel and stick so you can protect your countertops and it also helps keep it from sliding around so let's go ahead come down here also oh, it came nice. with this nifty garlic peeler and you might think eh who needs a garlic peeler but once you see this in action you'll know that you need this garlic peeler plus we're going to use a lot of garlic to season this guy so come on down here let's put one of these pads this is on. the pestle that came with it and if you're not familiar with that this wide side is typically the end that you use to grind and it fits inside the bowl and you just do a motion like that before we get to that let's get to this let's peel off i've already rinsed it you don't ever want to put soap into a granite mortar pestle just mash that down and let's see okay pretty good pretty good so like i said i've already washed it and let it dry and by washing i just rinsed it out really well and used a clean paper towel to wipe it down now it does i can still feel some of the dust off of the, the manufacture process so the first step in getting rid of that is to add some white rice which my rice is a little on the yellowish side but you just go in and start and grinding add some it. salt just to help facilitate that polishing kind of action. And what I want to do, and we're not going to show this whole process, but I'm going to go in here and grind this until it becomes a rice flour. And I'm going to keep doing it until the rice comes out clean. Then she's going to do it all the way up to the top. And she's going to keep throwing stuff out. I'm making a huge mess, but that's okay. So I told you this little guy was worth it, so we're going to put a garlic clove in there. It needs to be peeled. Put him right there in the middle. And I'm going to apply just a little bit of pressure, not a lot. And the peels come out. And this guy is pretty clean. I can put him back in for a little bit more. The inside of this has little nibs on it. And that's what catches the, the peel. And there we go. A nicely, perfectly peeled clove of garlic. And if you don't apply too much pressure, you don't see those little nibs in there. And it's so... But soft and easily, you know, you can wad this thing up. It's easy to clean, just give it a good rinse. And it's got a little hole so you can hang him up if you want to. But we're gonna use all this garlic in our next step. So between John and I, we have ground this rice and the rice flour. Now ours isn't perfectly white because remember, bleh, remember I didn't start with white rice. I used basmati, which was a little on the yellowish side. So the inside has rice powder in there. I'm going to go rinse this out. And this is what my finished rice powder looks like. Rice powder. It's 
very finely ground down. Let's go get this cleaned up, let this dry, and I'll be right back. So this has been washed and dried and conditioned. And you really can't see on the, there we go. The inside is a lot smoother now than the outside because that rice and salt just kind of ground down some of the raw edges on there. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to continue the process by I've seasoning. I've got several cloves of garlic here. Probably don't need that many, but what the heck, I was having fun peeling it with that garlic peeler. So I'm just gonna smash these down. And then start giving them a go with the pestle. Now the reason you want to use a granite or a stone mortar pestle set is because the little imperfections on the inside of this are going to help grind your veggies or you know whatever you're grinding it's going to help. Now if you want to grind like just plain powders or something, if you're grinding pills for medication, you could use a smooth one. But for things like this, you want to use something that's, you know, a stone or a wooden one. I'm going to add a teaspoon of coarse salt, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, and just some peppercorns just for laughs. Because I thought it was funny, y'all. Smells really good. And this is what they call seasoning. Oh, and by the way, I just throw this garlic mixture away. Yes, cause you might still have a little bit of stone in there. Right, and the reason that you're doing this is because the oils in the garlic could collect any of that leftover uh, stone dust or anything else in there. And of course you've got the garlic for the oils and you have the cumin seed and the pepper for the abrasion. And it's always good to have a little bit more abrasion in here when you're crushing. So let's go washing again. But that's what my paste looks like. Hope you enjoyed uh, the mortar pestle that we just showed. Let's just remind everybody it is made out of granite. It is hand carved. Comes with little patches to go slip, on the back slip. so that it doesn't scratch your delicate surfaces. And after we seasoned it with all that garlic, it doesn't have a garlicky smell. So we did a good job with the rice and with the garlic. And, um, and every time you're using it, you're just seasoning it more and more and more. That's right. So this is just an amazing mortar pestle. I like it. It's hefty. You could use this to serve uh, your guacamole yep. or your pico de gallo if you have a party. Or any type of dips. Just sit it out there just for... It's beautiful. It is. It's uh, they have different sizes, different shapes. And they have polished and unpolished, and I had requested the unpolished one, yep. which they very generously provided us. Thank you, Priority Chef, and make sure you go check out their website because they have so many other nice kitchen tools that you will love. And they have more than one website. They have a lot of uh, social media. And they're on, on Facebook there. and Instagram and yeah, all Twitter. Kinds of, we're gonna leave all that down below, and you can just click on it, take yep. you straight there. Uh, they sell this at uh, priority chef and I think also you can get this on Amazon so wherever you can purchase it we're gonna leave the link down below we want to thank y'all for coming and watching this video yeah. it's gonna also be on cast iron skillet kitchen and good to know so if you want to go see more stuff all of our reviews will be on good to know all right first time here please subscribe like share there's a little bell icon. Please click on that and you'll get all of our notifications when we post again. And most important, y'all come back. <laughs>